A lot of cool gadgets. Holy slots. Lots of slots. This is like the mecca of gaming. It's going well out here. And, you know, G2E is now back in person after two years away where people weren't able to see the latest in casino technology and innovation due to the pandemic. But those I spoke to were not dwelling on the past. They say they're here because they're focused on being visionaries for the future of gaming in Las Vegas and beyond. It's time to move on with business. It's very exciting. Gambling's back. Even more exciting when things line up exactly as you need them to. And after what happened last year? Last year, because of COVID-19, we couldn't, couldn't attend. Exhibitors like these. They have to see it, to feel it. And, and to have their, their hands on it. Aren't taking for granted. It's 10 times better in person. The chance to get their products. The UNLV is, is proud to have uh, a lot of innovations come out of the school. They had uh, helped patent this idea and uh, kind of get it to market. And visions for the future. It tells the dealer where to put certain chips so it stays organized. A new shuffler that we're developing for the casino industry. In front of potential clients in person. It's much easier for us to, for them to touch and feel and see how the product works live as opposed to, you know, a video online or a Zoom call. It just, it doesn't have the same effect. It just, it doesn't. On a typical year, they expect usually like 27,000 attendees at this event, but of course, there are less. There are still a lot of restrictions on international travel. But coming up in our 6 o'clock newscast, we'll hear more from a group of South Koreans who came from South Korea to be here today and show off their products. And we'll learn more about the turnout we saw today and what it means for Las Vegas coming up. Reporting live, I'm Maddie White, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas.